Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It is um, October the 2nd and we're continuing our readings in the book of Isaiah, chapter 16, 17 and 18. So in these three chapters, the prophet speaks about his burden for Moab, Damascus and Ethiopia respectively. Um, from chapter 15, verse 1 to 16, verse 14, he has outlined his message to Moab. In verse 1, Moab is told to send the token lamb to Judah as a tribute of recognition of Judah's dominance. Verse 2 to 6, it is an invitation to Moab to humble themselves before the God of Judah and to show kindness to Israel in their midst. The throne will be established in judgment and righteousness in the tent of David. The nation of Moab is full of pride and therefore the Lord will humble them, causing them to howl in distress. The Lord will destroy their harvest, giving them sorrow and the wine press will be dry. The Lord will crush their religion. The Lord in three years will reduce the nation to just a few weak men. In chapter 17, Isaiah brings his prophecy regarding Damascus, the crown of the Syrian nation. First, he says it will be reduced to a city of ruins. Verse 1. The cities of Aruah will be deserted. Only shepherds will live there. The castle at Ephraim will cease and Damascus and Syria will be destroyed as Israel was destroyed. Verse 2, two and 3, there will be a general famine and then they, they will be left just a few berries far out of reach. The Lord God of Israel will be respected, but their own gods will be forsaken. Even the strong cities will be abandoned. Uh, they will be uh, because they, it will be because they have forsaken the Lord. Now, some people might say, well, how does these um, how, how do these nations forsake the Lord? It's because they are also in the covenant of Noah. Um, so they have a relationship with the Lord in that sense. But they also have a relationship with the Lord in that they have a relationship with Israel. And the Lord will demand of all the nations that they come to Jerusalem and bring their token, their tribute of, of respect to Israel's dominance. Um, so the, the Lord God of Israel will be respected and their own gods will be forsaken. So the strong cities will be abandoned and this will be because, this will be because they have forsaken the Lord. The harvest will be uncollected because of great grief upon the people. There will be a commotion in the nations to collect the harvest, but the Lord will rebuke them and chase them away. The Lord will destroy them in the night. In, in, in chapter 18, we have the burden regarding Ethiopia, or rather the land beyond Ethiopia, which is Abyssinia. This will be the judgment of God on Ethiopia. The whole earth is told to pay attention. The Lord will withdraw his rain at the time of spring. All the animals and birds will eat the harvest. When the time comes to bring a gift to the Lord, they will bring of their poverty to Zion. Now all these events seem to be during the beginning of the millennial kingdom, the day of the Lord. Now, I have to say some of the details of these passages is quite obscure to us. Uh, obviously, um, Isaiah knew what he was talking about. And obviously, the people who heard the prophecy knew exactly what he was talking about. But for us in our day, some of the details of the prophecy are unknown to us. We see the words, but we don't understand all of its significance. My password is in verse 13 and 14 of chapter 17. Let me read it. The nations shall rush like the rushing of many waters, but God shall rebuke them and they shall flee far off and shall be chased as the chaff of the mountains before the wind and like a rolling thing 
before the whirlwind, and behold at eventide trouble, and before the morning he is not. So in the even, evening tide there will be trouble, and in the morning they will be discovered to be dead. This is the portion of them that spoil us, and the lot of them that rob us. So what God is doing, he's dealing with the nations, but he's doing it through Israel. You see, Israel's mission in the world was to be the representatives of the Lord. And it was through Israel that God will reach out to all the nations and bless them. So when they rob Israel, they're robbing the Lord and they will come under the swift judgment of God. Some of these passages are very, um, are very dramatic and very, um, and very shocking. Amazing what Isaiah had to say in his day. Well, there we are. There's just my thought for the day and the commentary today. Look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.